Hello there. So this video details the location of the six great fairies in Ocarina of Time. The great fairies give you enhancements to your magical abilities throughout the game. You can find three of these fairies as a child, and three of these fairies as an adult. The prerequisites for these first three as a child are bombs, which you acquire in Dodonga's cavern. The first great fairy gives you your magic meter and powers up your spin attack. What you want to do is bomb the suspicious looking wall and walk through to meet the fairy. For all of these fairies, what you want to do is approach the Triforce symbol and play Zelda's lullaby for the fairy to appear. So this is pretty vital as you need the magic meter later in the game and it really is useful to have a powerful spin attack. So the next great fairy gives you Din's fire. She's located on the other side of the Hyrule Castle gate. What you want to do is go down to the back and bomb the wall as before. Then just crawl through the hole and meet the fairy. Din's fire can get you out of some pretty tight jams later in the game as it harms many enemies. It also enables you to enter the Shadow Temple later on as well. So the next great fairy gives you Farrell's Wind. What you want to do is enter the Zora's Fountain and swim behind Jabu Jabu to the right. You float over to this little island and bomb next to the sort of silvery looking stone. What will happen is this entire wall will disappear. And you can just walk through and meet the fairy. Farrell's Wind enables you to set up points you can teleport to in a dungeon. It's very useful for preventing backtracking later, especially in Jabu Jabu, which will be the next temple you enter into. Beware though, it doesn't work in dungeons without maps, so you won't be able to cheese Gerudo's Fortress. So the next fairy gives you the double magic meter. The prerequisite is the Megaton Hammer, which you get in the Fire Temple. This great fairy is located in Death Mountain Crater. What you want to do is smash these rocks with the hammer on the sort of right as you come in. Double magic meter isn't completely necessary, but it's really useful, especially considering how easy it is to get and how it's not really out of your way. The next great fairy gives you Nehru's love. This can be found on the right just before you enter the spirit temple next to these palm trees. As usual, just bomb the suspicious looking wall and walk on through. Prerequisite is of course the lens of truth which you need to get through the desert anyway to get to this point in the game. Nehru's love effectively makes you invincible for short stints. It's really useful for the spirit temple which you enter as a child and are a lot weaker. The 
final great fairy can be found outside Ganon's castle. You'll need the golden gauntlets which you get from the shadow path inside Ganon's castle. These will enable you to lift up this massive stone and throw it out of the way. This is half damage, which effectively means you take less damage by getting attacked. Really useful power, it's just unfortunate that it's only of any use in Ganon's castle. So that's all the great fairy locations, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.